Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Adam. We are Spring at Dawn, and we are at the entrance to the bunker. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Oh, wait, crates. Uh, never mind. A log? Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> See a log. Alright, let's go check out the other side. And then we'll head inside. old boot. <laughs> Some more waste paper. Always a treat. And hopes we get 500 for that guy's extra reward at the end of his quest. We're gonna walk in and then immediately get killed by radiation. Oh, I'm also hungry. I need to eat something. Okay. Ooh. All right, let's get some food in our system. Before we enter, do the old quick save. All right. Yeah, let's walk over here. Neat. Red key card. Radically red key card that was used by bunker staff. <laughs> Ooh, bunch of lockers. One experience point. Fantastic. Some gunpowder. It's worth a decent amount. I'll grab it. Glad that we're getting lucrative experience from this. Police cat plus ten to speechcraft. I will take it. Some more rusty stuff that I can sell. I'm all about selling stuff. I probably shouldn't grab too much because, uh, well, I can just give it to one of my companions. Oops, didn't mean to. Ooh, rusty RPD. That'll fetch me a pretty price somewhere. Uh, let's give it to Hexogen. to carry most of this stuff, if not all of it. Oh, he has gas. Well, that's exciting. Um, did not know that. Can you carry all this stuff? Nope. Oh, you only have 10 pounds left. Alright, maybe this isn't a good idea. He can probably carry all of it. He has plenty of carry capacity. Yeah, he'll be fine. Quarter 13. Yeah, this is... Alright. Well, the red key card might just open up all these doors for me instead of me having to unlock them. But if I can unlock them, then why wouldn't I? Okay. Well, let's equip this. Interesting. Actually, I'm gonna take that knife from Alexander. I don't want to risk, because sometimes, well, really, the helmet is considered better. Okay, well then you can wear the helmet. That's A-OK -okay with me. Ooh. Is 
But his bunker's pretty big. Okay. Well, maybe it's not that big. It has, has a bunch of little rooms. The heck is that thing? Alright, I think I'm gonna go east first. It looks like fun. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go west first. I'd rather get the experience for it. Alright, where's the key at? Let's do this. Yeah. May as well just keep that equipped because I feel like all these doors are going to be locked. Nope, or not. No, no, there's just wires in these. I'm not going to bother actually opening them up. Just want that sweet experience. Locked. Some diesel. I'll take it. Or at least I can sell it. Crumpled note. You can't stop the prophecy by killing the prophet. Yesterday I went into Verbitsky's room for a little chat. You know what sort of literature he reads? Oh well, my friends. He reads Hoda Hodasevich, that one poet who got famous by comparing the life of a typical Russian to the life of grain. Don't you see it? The man thinks we're grain. That's why he buried himself and us in this underground death trap. So that we may become barley that will feed the future generations of cold-hearted cold -hearted Soviet monsters. Oh yes, I think they can hold their half-dead empire together by sacrificing us, by burying us alive in bunkers. But they won't ever get satisfied. I'm not a vegetable. I'm a man, and I'll run away from this grave. Mark my words, oh I will run. 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 I'll grab that. What sort of knife is this? Rusty knife. What are you? Tarrant Hermit. Or Tarot. I'm not actually sure how to say it. I've always called it Tarrant. Like a Tarrant card. Thoughts on collected. Collectivism. Four years ago, when they told us that we stopped receiving communication from the Central Station, which essentially meant that the worst predictions were true and our motherland was attacked with nuclear weapons, nobody reacted emotionally. There were no tears, no screams, no sudden suicides. It bugged me for some reason. Why were we, all, why were we so calm? After all, it meant that everything we knew and loved died in the nuclear flame. That there was nothing more to protect, nothing to return to. That there was no more home. The best explanation that I could come up with was that our a most fanatical loyalty to the collective. Uh, no one wanted to be the spark that would start panic and mass hysteria. But deep down inside, I'm sure of it. We all felt that bitterness, that despair, and unwillingness to live. We crushed those feelings, hid it from the others to protect them. We kept it in as long as we could, one step from a total collapse. But as I predicted, one spark was more than enough. Uh, Skvort Sov started to crack. Slowly, quietly. At first he jokingly suggested that or so, jokingly suggested, what if our bunker was just buried beneath the rubble because of some earthquake in the mountains? Then came the paranoia. What if our loved ones are alive and safe? Maybe it's just us who are removed from all the official papers thanks to the secrecy of our work here. Now he and those who listen to him prepare themselves for the armed attack on the soldiers' barracks wanting to unseal the bunker. Nobody will survive this battle. Well, I will take that as well. Oh, you freeze on the spot. The locker door is obviously booby-trapped. You see several thin wires heading into the container. Pull the locker door hard enough to destroy the trap inside. Realistically, I don't think that that would work, but um, let's do it. 
You basically ripped the locker door off the hinges. The rubber band based crossbow that was hidden in the locker to shoot you with some needle sharp pencils breaks before the firing before firing its payload. Phew, now I can look at what's hidden in there. Some special Oh wow, tungsten carbide core. Neat. Super glue. Machined copy of what? I should probably get rid of some of these things so I can find the new ones easier. Because what is... Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm kind of interested. Four years since we last talked to Central Base of Operations. And still, we are living as a friendly, hard-working collective, doing what needs to be done, protected from the outside radiation by our walls. So why the panic? Why are you going crazy now instead of four years prior when the news of the catastrophe were still new? Why are you spreading lies about the biolabs becoming incapable of food production? Why do you entertain thoughts of opening our sealed bunker and giving up to whoever is now in charge of our destroyed planet? Why are you spreading disgusting ideas such as the stupid there is no war theory? Why are you attacking the morals of the collective? Next time I hear any of the above mentioned crap, I will execute the guilty party in the name of science, morals, camaraderie, and the Soviet, U and the Soviet government. Not a joke. Major Verbitsky. Hmm. Fascinating. Alright, um... Which way do I want to go next? I guess we'll just keep going up this way, right? Some more rooms up here. It's a kid holding a dog. Looks like he killed himself, maybe? Or went down in a hail of gunfire. If it's rusty, I do not care. Bloody page. I'm sorry if y'all hear that, my tummy is rumbly. I'm not crazy. These are not the thoughts in my head. These are not the dreams I see at night. This is him. Since my loft stopped this is my loft. Since my life stopped being my own and became his, I choose to end it at all. Farewell. Okay. Well, super exciting. Give the diesel that I've picked up to Alexander real quick, just so it's not weighing me down. Actually, you know what? Here, have some uh, some pills. Let's see somebody on the front line with me when we start eventually fighting. 
those green monsters we saw in the distance. They look like the uh, things from Vault 22, I think. Fallout New Vegas. We were made fools. Yura, the day when, according to our captors, the Third World War started, our bunker was actually shaken by some seismic activity. But how can you prove that the atomic bombs falling on our motherland were the cause of this? Please agree that it's much more logical that there was never any war. Our bunker just got hit by some falling rocks. We're in a mountain pass, after all. Think about it. Uh, Skvortsov is right. We need to flee this tin can. R. How do I want to do this? Right, this is going to circle around. Okay, this circles back around to the uh, passage that we saw to the east. Yeah. Alright, well, looks like we're about to get our hands dirty. Um, unless I want to go this way first. Which I think I do. I'm going to get easily turned around in here. I'll just leave that there. Actually, you know what? No. Let's take it. I'll give it to, like, Fidel. I think he has my canned meat. And, um, I don't know, Hexogen, can you carry some... some meat? There we go. Come on. Just let me check the thing. Thank you. No. Did I check this one? Carrot Devil. Hmm. Tear it full. I wonder if those are used for anything. Don't know why I grabbed that alarm clock. But it's mine now. A little frag grenade. That guy's body. Oh, he's in like a hazmat suit. All right. Well, I guess I'll go this way. There are a lot of rooms here to explore. Carefully written letter. <clears throat> Maybe you live to be a hundred, my dear Zenaida Petrovna. I still cannot meet you in per meet you in person after the last changes in the weekly duty roster in the bio laboratory. At least I'll thank you in this letter. The old deck of cards that you so graciously gave me helps me every day. For starters, it's a real cure for boredom. Even though nor me nor the boys know such suits. Wait, sorry. Even though not me nor the boys know which 
such suits as those coins and pentacles. There are four of them, just like in the normal cards. That means that one can play them with, play with them in poker, Durak, or even solitaire. But not only that, they even help me with my chores. For example, I need to think of a four-digit code for the detention cell. Yep, I don't even. I don't know if you heard that, but our bunker has a real miniature prison. Although it's obvious that nobody will use it. I don't know, I'm struggling to read this. Uh, can you imagine fights or thievery in our tight-knit community? Me neither. So there's a big chance that I will just forget the prison code in a couple of days. And here your cards are help again helping me. Sign every ace a card with some English word written on it is numbered 1. I say anything of a story with the characters on the cards and the code will be remembered. You note know as well as I do that interesting story is much more fun than some hollow and boring numbers. With great respect, Lieutenant Beat Rutenko. What does a doctor's cap do? Plus five to first aid. Oh, these are those machines that I can't interact with. Alright, this has two entrances to it. Hello. The Empress. Death and Metal. Today's demonstration at the bunker exit was violently dispersed by only one man, Corporal Le Likachov. Likachov. Contrary to all the rules, he used the experimental Vidinsky rifle. I, I don't know what to say. Screams, shuffling of the agonizing torn bodies on the floor, wet from blood, the carnivorous hiss of the armor-piercing bullets. This instrument of death, this weapon, should never have been made. That's why I stole Likachov's code. Wrote it down from a reminder that he kept in his desk. Uh, when he will return from the slaughter and lock that diabolical weapon back in the safe, I will steal it. I'll dismantle it, break it, grind it up into dust, throw it in the acid tank that Sikolsky once mentioned. All I, need to, all I need is to crack the cipher. The, temper, the tempter walks in the footsteps of the old man who's trying to catch his careless youth. So these have codes on it? Because I'm, I'm assuming the tempter would be the devil, right? There are number. Okay, there are numbers at the top. Is that a zero? Three? Okay. Good to know. And the hermit is nine. All right. Do you need me to let you in? Come on. There we go. This Soviet army knife. Good, I'll just go back to the factory and see if the uh, the demon worshipper is there. See if he wants the uh, the knife. I know he wanted the plans for it, but
Strange note. The young magician asked three guests to visit his parlor. First came his younger brother, along with the faithful mutt. Second was his charming sister. His old father, bearing a huge walking stick, came last. Pre-war vodka. Valuable. Uh, so does I need to put a code in here? I do. But maybe I can just break the lock? Because I could do it with a safe earlier. Alright. Young magician asked three guests to visit his parlor. First was the younger brother, then with his mutt, then his sister, and then his father. So, we gotta keep finding cards, I guess. Another safe. I can just pick that lock with it for a thousand rubles and some some other treats. There we go. He frees on the spot. One of the drawers on this table is obviously booby trapped. You see several thin wires heading into the table. Pull the drawer out with enough force to break the booby trap. Basically rip the drawer out of the table. The zip gun that was hidden in the table to shoot you with some rusty forks breaks before firing its payload. Phew, now I can look at what's hidden in here. Another good chunk of rubles. Well, hot dog. Empty canteen. I'll take it. Photo of a dog. Is that a good looking dog? Alright. Let's head to the other side and keep looking for tarot cards, I suppose. I never opened up this door. If it's locked, I would like to. Get that sweet experience. The Magician. Okay, that was mentioned that other letter. Classes. Attention less five. That gives you plus one attention. So if you have okay, so if you have less than five attention. Interesting. Intel. Igor Yuryevich, the scientists are planning something big. Inspired by the currently captured uh Skivor I have a hard time saying his name. Skivortsov. They continue spreading rumors that the outside is safe and there was never any war to begin with. They think we are either mistaken about the situation above or holding them holding them here against their will like prisoners. Soon they will create an armed opposition to us here in the bunker. They might attack the barracks or the gun room. Dubov. Or Dubov. Well, that letter over encumbered me. Okay. Well, I should probably get rid of some of these letters. But, uh... I think we'll be okay for now. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I should probably get rid of, but we'll see. Does the dog need healing? Nope. Let's give them their ammunition. Let's start with that. Uh, you get 9mm rounds. 30 rounds.
All right. Okay, we've been through all these. I don't think I searched all of these yet, have I? I think I searched two of them. Okay, we've been through all of these. We haven't gone this way. Generators that we can interact with. We haven't been back over there. So let's go... Crap, I gotta turn around. Hold on, there we go. I'm gonna head towards the generators, see what I can do with that. Why can I go in this room? Fire hydrant. Or sorry, fire extinguisher, no, no. It's not a whole hydrant. Come on. I know there's just wires in there. Don't be so difficult. Love letter. I love sunshine. I love gentle breeze. I love the sea as it licks my bare toes. I love mom. I want to visit you, mom. I want to grab onto you and cry. I want to tell you the truth. I want you to understand me. Let's make some baked apples, mommy. We'll pour some honey on them. We'll eat them and talk and laugh. During the next day, Anshura, Galia, and Andre will come bearing gifts. I won't tell them the truth. I'll tell them that serving motherland was amazing. I'll tell them everything went well. I'll tell them that I never had to kill unarmed people. Maybe I should check all of these, just in case there's something tucked away in one of these. I doubt it, but you never know. Before you stands a perfect, perfected model of a power generator type you've seen before. This one is equipped with a computer that is still active. The screen reads... Welcome to the computerized control panel for the M1 Iliac power generator based on the OWL 2.0 B operating system. Please choose a command from the list. Uh, check status. The generator sends power to the following substructures. Blue wing living area, white wing uh, power facility. Status optimal. Uh, diagnostics. Processing. State of devices optimal. Please note the manual checkup of the ventilation systems was not performed for 5,273 days. Uh, troubleshooting. No errors found. I'm not going to transfer energy, I don't think, because I don't know what I'm doing. Energy transfer? Energy transfer, also known as energy rerouting, becomes available only when the device becomes incapable of serving to its full potential. This device is working to its full potential. You come closer to the massive generator. You already met such devices in your past, but this one seems to be an updated model, to fit with a special onboard computer unit. As you clean the screen of the computer from dust, you notice a message. Welcome to the computerized control panel of uh, M1 Mark's power generator based on the OWL 2.0B operating system. Check status. Center sends power to the following substructures. Error. Rerouting needed. Diagnostics. Processing. State of the devices. Optimal. Please note the manual checkup. Yeah, same thing. Uh, troubleshooting. Power failure in subsystems 3 and 5. System working to 55% of potential. Error. Rerouting needed. Energy transfer. Please input target of rerouting energy. Well, the other see, yeah, living quarters and white wing are good. Uh, 
This green wing needs power input. However, the generator is not powerful enough to supply energy for the complete wing. Conflicting positions at points 11 sick bay and 28 reserve exit. Manual solving needed. Ah, uh, yeah, to go to the sick bay, I guess. Point 11 online. Don't know what I just did. I might regret that later. Maybe I can... Let's make sure I can still fiddle with that before I, uh... So what if I need to, like, put the power somewhere else? Okay, I can put it to the reserve exit as well. So it's not... the end-all be-all. Wow, a bunch of gasoline. I'll be taking that. Alright, give me all this stuff. I'm taking all of that gasoline right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, I'll hold on to that. Sure. You see, I actually liked wearing that. And, um... You cannot carry that much, I figured. Uh, how much is this? 30. Okay, um... I'd say that's more valuable than diesel. But I don't need all of this meat. And that should open you up to all of this gasoline. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to drop all this crap, because I don't need it. How am I still ever encumbered? What? Oh, the meat. Well, sweet. I mean, that's, that's a bunch of gas, and gas is good. Oh, hello. Bunch of diesel as well. Um, no, I'm not going to grab it. Because I don't think diesel is even used for anything. I'm not going to bother, but I will keep note of the, uh... Of where that diesel is at, in case I do need that much diesel. So I know I need 30 diesel for something later in the game, and I have the 30 diesel that I need. So I won't worry about that right now. Get a ton of unlocking experience. Alright, cool. Well, this, uh. Oh. Whoa! 50 HP. The door in the next room opens with a strange click. Next moment you know, a tiny booby trap shoots you right in the gut with a loud cloud of table salt. You double over in terrible pain. Well, that's lame, but I can just fix myself up real quick. I'm gonna quick save before I do it. To try and avoid any, uh... Addiction that I might suffer. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back this way. And explore these little areas. Yeah, because it's not much right here. And then after that I'll probably call it an episode... Well, let's do this room first. Exhilarating. 
the whole room for a tin can. Oh, this is the jail cell. Okay. Uh, what did he say? Well, let's see if we can lockpick it. Yep. Sure as crap can. Suck it. Let's see what the note said real quick anyway. I want to see if I can figure it out. Uh, where are the tarot cards? Or I guess I should be looking at the notes, not the tarot cards. Nope. That's the one for the other room. I need to... Okay, hold on. So there's a big chance I'll just forget the prison code in a couple of days. Here are your cards again helping me. Sign every ace. The card with some English word written on it is numbered 1. So you think of a story with the characters and the cards and the code will be remembered. You know it as well as I do. So I wonder... I don't know, I'll probably I'll look into that off camera, see if I can figure it out for the prison area. Our benefactor. 18-4? Oh, that Krodov. Still believes we haven't killed each other yet because of solidarity and love for the collective. What a fool, that communist. Doesn't he know that we were so peaceful and happy even after the world went to crap, only thanks to our unwanted child? The little god we created in the land of scientific communism? Yes. He was the one whispering to us, do not shoot, do not kill. That paranoia Skvorstov Skvor Sov spread around as in a spontaneous mental illness. As a product of immunity to our child's mental influence. We're breaking the conditioning. We will die free men. I curse this freedom. I'll probably manage the uh, notes off camera as well, try and uh, organize it. Some dice. Haven't seen those in a while. Alright, so we still have this door to get in. I can probably just lockpick it. I'll go back and try for a little bit. See if I can get in here. <clears throat> okay, screw the codes. Though this code isn't hard to figure out. I need to find... Magician, his brother, old man with walking stick, the sister, and the dog. I can probably just unlock it, yeah. See? Two more tries. Take your ammunition. Memo. Before changing the entrance code for the locker, I looked at Tobik's picture. I miss you so much, buddy. Save the safe for last. A shiv. So is this where that experimental rifle they were talking about is located? If so, pretty exciting. The VER. Oh, this is what uses the star ammunition. Okay. Potensky's experimental rifle, the ultimate weapon of the pre-war motherland, developed by the legendary constructor from the. Yaroslavi Labs. Skill, rifle, and shotguns. Critical chance plus 50%. No handicap for fighting in darkness. Damage 15 to 40. It weighs 11. Who here can carry 11 more? Man, I want to give the hexogen. I'll just hold on to the ammunition so he doesn't use it yet. He cannot carry that much. What is holding you back, buddy? The gasoline that I didn't know you had to begin with. Now 
And I'd like for Alexander to carry the rest of my gasoline since he has that gasoline. Oh, he can carry it. No, we can't. There we go. Nothing to it. I will just go and eat the canned canned meat to heal up a bit. Up, up, I'm healed up. Cool. All right, cool. That's a uh, pretty exciting find. There's a boss. I mean, they mentioned a god they created, so. I run into that god, I guess I'll have Hexogen use that rifle. So I'll go back. Oh wait, how do I get to the... Oh, here it is. Alright, so the next episode I guess we'll go this way. Circle around, deal with these, uh... These little guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all in the next episode.